Let's take a quick look at the two ways to change the shackle on an ABUS 83 series padlock. The first way will be using the shackle change tool, and the second way is a lesser known but fun way to do it as well. The first method using the shackle change tool requires, of course, dropping the existing core out. So let's grab our key, which is the ASA Maximum Plus Restricted. Once we have our core out, we can, let's take a quick look down there. See the actuator down there? So what we wanna do is grab our shackle change tool slides in there nicely and we're going to turn it you can see that it, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise we are going to go clockwise and once we do so you meet some spring tension and then the shackle just comes right out and you'll see that what it did was drop that ball bearing out of the way so if we flip it upside down it goes back in there we can grab our new shackle, rotate the actuator a little bit, and it just pops in the new shackle. And look how beautiful that brass on brass looks. And then of course we can pop our core back in. Give it a little jiggle. There we go, we got it seated in there and confirmed that the padlock still unlocks. And we'll go ahead and drop the screw before we put it in. That's for good luck. And there we go. So that is one down. The second method involves using the Z-Bar, which is installed in this one. So if we take a look, this is a, um, it has a nice bylock in there. Oh, did you hear that? Listen to that pop. That has some snap to it. So the Z-Bar is installed and in the key retaining fashion, as you see. So what we have to do in this case would be drop the core out. And uh, let's take a look and see current Z-Bar configuration, you cannot see the black dot which is on it. So let's go ahead and carefully take this out like we're playing the game operation. So on this side exists the black dot. So that was currently facing the actuator. So what we're going to do then is grab it grab our core and the tailpiece which it rests on we're going to just pop it on there and there we see it on there actually we have it on the wrong way because then it would be key retaining so we want to flip it and now you do not see the black dot and then we will go ahead and just pop it in here and it's sitting flush in there. So what we can do is turn the key all the way to the right, just like we did with our shackle change tool, except now the key was able to perform that action with the Z-bar in that um, orientation. So if we take a look, we'll see that the ball bearing is loose. So now it's inside there, we can grab our brass shackle 
Turn the key again to the right to let it drop in. And there we have it. And we can confirm that it works. Oh yes, very snappy. And as before, reassemble. And there we have a beautiful bylock. Let's hear that snap again. Oh yes. And this does happen to be the quick change version. So if we want, we can take the, the core out, which is super cool. And then it just goes right back in. Very, very fun. So that is the end. Um, both methods there described. Hope you enjoyed.